Here is a really cheap and nasty Univasum DVD receiver. I found this at the side of the road. Somebody threw it out. It was lying there together with the remote control, two front speakers, and a subwoofer. So it's a 2.1 audio system with DVD player, essentially. Now, I'm not interested in this thing, so I didn't even take the speakers and the remote control. I only took this simply because I want to know what's inside. Is it a modern design with switch mode power supply and Class D amplifier? Or is it a traditional design with linear power supply with transformer and a Class A B amplifier? Before we take this apart to find out, let's just plug this in and see what happens. My guess is this was thrown out because the DVD player quit working. Well, it has power. There is a standby light. Ooh, welcome. There is like a fan inside of there. Let's see. Is this going to take a CD? I'd be surprised if it did. Loading. Is it going to do it? Ooh! Oh, it is! Okay. There is, there is actually a little graphic in this display. You have the left and right front speakers and then the subwoofer. Well, Maybe it still reads CDs, but uh, probably not DVDs. But I can't test that because I don't have any DVDs. Anyway, enough testing. Let's take this apart. Actually, let's first take a look at the back of the unit. Power cable, three speaker outputs, two video inputs, video output, Super video output, digital audio output, then here is the FM antenna, AM loop antenna, and the SCART jack that is both audio and video output. And that's it. Interestingly, that cooling fan that I heard is not mounted on the back, so it's got to be buried inside somewhere. Let's go and take this apart. This has these plastic side panels. I guess those have to come off first. So let's, uh, ooh, those are some really cheap screws. Two turns and they're out. And this, yeah, this just pulls off. Ah, there we go, okay. Ooh, some clips. That's actually quite uh, quite well made. I'm surprised. And then, yeah, the top cover just extends over to the side. Oh, there are some more screws here. Okay, so let's remove the side panel over here. There is a screw up there. Oh, that's a fine thread screw. And the last screw is out. Let's, uh, let's see what we find. Oh. <laughs> Another screw hiding right there. Interesting. It's not symmetric. There is no screw over here. Ah, there we go. And now, let's see what we find inside. Okay. Well, that is a very traditional design. And I like that. Nice transformer. Nice heatsink, DVD, drive, tuner. There is not much to this. 
Let me take a closer look. First of all, it seems like somehow a label from a DVD has made it into this unit. And I'm not going to translate this, but all my German viewers can tell, yeah, that's pornography. Oh dear. Anyway, so the mains comes in right here and goes into this small circuit board. And this contains a little 5-volt standby power supply, little transformer, little rectifier bridge. There is a 5-volt regulator in a TO92 transistor case. So that presumably powers the logic, which I assume is in the front panel. But it also, when the unit is turned on, powers up this relay. And the relay then switches on this main transformer. This is a nice toroidal uh, transformer. It does have a diagram of all the windings on the side, so that's going to be handy. I like this. That transformer supplies power to over here. That's the power supply section, the main power supply section. There is one two, three, four rectifier bridges on here. Here is a 12 volt voltage regulator, a 9 volt voltage regulator, and a 5 volt voltage regulator. So quite a few operating voltages in here. Now uh, over here is of course the DVD drive. There is uh, presumably for all the the drive, the, the, the mechanical control of this. There is a circuit board under this. And then right here is the tuner module, AM and FM. I already took out the screws. And under that, I assume there is some, uh, some processor chips on the underside of this board. So that's going to do all the DVD player stuff. Right here is a little dual operational amplifier. And then right there is the main amplifier chip. This is an LA4663 stereo amplifier. It does 16 watts per channel. Yeah, it's only a stereo amplifier. So to split the signal into the subwoofer signal and the two signals for the front speakers, uh, they have to use a passive crossover network, which is right here. There are two inductors, there are some little coils, and then these two look like they were some sort of shunt resistors. So, yeah, that's a very cheap solution. And then finally, where is that noisy ventilator fan? Well, you can, you can kind of make it out, I guess. It's actually, yeah, right there. It's under this heat sink. It's pulling in air from down below and forces it through the heat sink. So that's an interesting solution. Here is the DVD player taken out of the unit. It's made by Sanyo, as you can see. There is the laser assembly right there, blue laser. As we take a look at the bottom, we have Zoran Vadis, Dolby Digital. We also have a chip down here which has a heatsink to the board. So this is going to be a motor controller. This is a video processor of some sort, audio and video processor. So this is it. This is the whole entire DVD player. We can actually see DVA 2.1 MPEG board, 2003. Here is the tuner with the covers removed. This was made by Wang Sung, also back in 2003. You can just make it out down there. I like these. I like these, uh, you know, you have these shielded chambers. It all looks really neat. But this is actually old technology, since they are now making a lot of these all-in-one tuners without an AM part. 
they have gotten a lot smaller than this. Bottom of the unit is just a circuit board with some chips. Here is the circuit board that was hiding behind the front panel. It's just uh, some momentary push buttons, headphone output, remote control receiver, and the display. The display was also made for a full surround sound model. As you can see, this little graphic actually shows also a center speaker and some rear speakers. I was wrong about uh, the logic being on here. It turns out there is just this little display controller and that's it. And last but not least, here is the main board. Here is a better view of the rectifier bridges. These filter capacitors look kind of sad. And then as we take a look at the bottom, here we have all the logic. There is a little dual operational amplifier, a little surface mount unit. I'm not sure what's up with this setup right here. These are both 4558 chips, and I think those are operational amplifiers. But as you can see, on the one side they have all their legs shorted together on these uh, traces, these big chunky traces. They kind of look like they were grounded, but they are not. And it turns out, soldered into these traces are these metal things. So these are not shunt resistors. These are not electrically active. They just act as heat sinks for these uh, parts of the circuit board. That's a very strange design. And then let's not forget about this, the WOW chip. And this is what remains, the bottom panel with the 12 volt fan, which is very filthy. This fan must have been an afterthought because the way they stamped the holes into the metal doesn't really allow for a lot of airflow. See, the fan is completely blocked around here. It's also blocked around here in this area. So I'm actually quite surprised that it's so dirty because this would not have been able to move a lot of air. And here are all the parts that I'm going to keep. The tuner module might be an interesting decoration the 5 volt standby power supply, the transformer. Here you can see the diagram with all the windings and this does list all the voltages as well, so that's really handy. I cleaned up the little fan, so that might be useful for something. The two heat sinks, audio connectors, video connectors, a resistor and a diode for whatever reason dual operational amplifier, four rectifier bridges, the stereo amplifier IC. Here is another tiny little 5 volt regulator that I found on the main board. And here are the other voltage regulators from the main board. And that's it. Thank you for watching.